the original author behind these various extensions, which is, I think, a combination of a bunch of developers behind them. They sold these extensions to some company, which then kept the functionality of the extensions in place, but injected the malware on top of it. In Palant's extensive research, they found that for the most part, they're doing two things, affiliate fraud and browser history tracking, basically. The affiliate fraud was new to me, but basically what that does is it has a list of e-commerce sites that this back company has affiliation with and got an affiliate code with somehow. They would see the user that's having this extension go to those sites that they have affiliates with and inject their affiliate code as part of that so they get kickbacks that way and that seems to be their main motivation to generate revenue for themselves and that browser history part i believe i'm just speculating here is they just want to capture the different urls you go to so that they can maybe find more e-commerce sites that they could create an affiliation with and get further kickbacks and build up their funds beyond that